We are here on... <coughs> Where are we? Black Sand Beach. Black Beach. Look at the beautiful sand. And um, it's about 7 in the morning now. When we drove here <coughs> on the 31st of December. You're watching this a little later. And um, yeah, we just sat down to write some... Uh, you know, to do a little bit of meditation, watch the sunset. and. Uh, you know, come up with some goals and some intentions for the new year. And my guess is that you have goals and intentions as well. And uh, my even stronger guess is that uh, one of those goals is to get rid of your social anxiety to feel at ease. That's probably why you're watching this. So I thought we'd do a little tap along to help you have the right perspective to get to that place. Okay? So it's gonna be real simple. Now, if this is the first video you see, I doubt it, but you know, I'm gonna use the techniques called EFT, stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. It's a silly looking technique where, but with which you tap on specific acupressure points on the body. Now, studies have shown that that tapping sends a little signal to the part of your brain called the amygdala, which releases cortis, uh, which, sorry, which um, is in charge of uh, hormones that you're releasing your body. In particular, studies have shown that it decreases the production of cortisol, which is your stress hormone, and it increases the production of serotonin, which is your happy hormone. And as you tap, these biochemical responses create a sense of calm. So you focus on something, you're upset about it, you know, you feel whatever kind of emotion you do to tapping, it soothes that emotion, it calms it down. So we're gonna use that particular technique <clears throat> along with some particular wording. So just follow along with me. If you don't exactly know where to tap, just, you know, monkey see, monkey do. Couldn't be easier than that, all right? So tapping on the side of the hand, just repeat after me out loud. Actually, no, don't just repeat after me out loud. Just close your eyes. As you see, this is all scripted. Just close your eyes and um, just take a deep breath. And then take another deep breath and slow your breath down. Going about half the speed in, half the speed out. Because you're maybe listening to the, you know, the, the birds, if you can hear them, or the sea coming in and out. And as you're kind of going inward, I want you to, you know, this is just going to be a second. It's going to be a bit painful, but it serves a purpose all right i want you to think about the problem that you're having you know you're dealing with this social anxiety and it's messing up your relationships you know you're worrying about it you're concerned about how you're coming across the people who you're running into every day and you know it's affecting your life in a very painful way you're not able to live your potential you know you, you get upset when you're anxious most likely and it's just a really difficult problem all right. All right. So that's where you're at. And now just open your eyes and tap on the side of your hand. And just repeat after me. Say, even though this is where I'm at, and it really sucks, this is where I'm at. I don't like it. I want to feel at ease, but I'm not there yet. But I'm willing to consider the possibility that I'm on my way there. And um, even though I don't like where I'm at, and I have a hard time accepting it, I accept that I have a hard time accepting it. Good, tapping on the beginning of your eyebrows. Say, this shitty social anxiety problem. So you guys, I wish it wasn't here. Oh, guys, I hate feeling the way that I do around others. Other than those, it's frustrating to see other people just being free. On the chin, it feels embarrassing that I have this problem. Collarbone makes me feel ashamed of myself. Under the arms, I'm worried that it will never go away. On the liver point, and what if I'm a tough case and I can never overcome it? 
wrist point. I have all these feelings about my problem. Top of that. And I release all my emotional attachments to my resistance to letting go of these feelings about my problem. Beginning of the eyebrows. I want to feel a little bit better. Say, so I no, I don't. Well, yeah, first I have this problem fixed, then I'll feel better. I don't know. I shouldn't have this problem. Chin, but I do. Collarbone. And I'm willing to consider the possibility that I have this problem for a reason. On the arms. And maybe it's true that I can't live my potential now. On the wrist point. But what if my social anxiety, top of that, forces me to look inside and heal my wounds and update my limiting beliefs so that I can start living my potential? At the beginning of the eyebrows, it's really difficult where I'm at on the side of the eyes. But certain perspectives help me suffer less. Oh yeah, it's, it's difficult to heal those wounds. I don't know, unless it isn't. Oh, the chin. I want to feel at ease socially. The collarbone. But maybe it's a bit of a journey to get there. Under the arms. And part of that journey is healing those wounds. The lift point and this weird tapping might be able to help me on the wrist point other people have done it top of that they've gone from social anxiety to social ease and by the way you can find those people on my channel I've interviewed a whole bunch of them <laughs> and I'm uh, one of them on the beginning of the eyebrow since other people have done it maybe I can do it too I, I, maybe it won't happen in a day or a week or even a month on the eyes, but I can make a little bit of progress each day on those. And a lot of steps start to add up. Chin, I can do a little bit every day. Collarbone, so slowly but surely, on the arms, I'll start feeling safer to be myself. Different point. As I heal those wounds, and the limiting beliefs that were formed at those times on the wrist point, I start to feel safe being my true self. Top of that. And that work is worthwhile. Good, now as you tap on the beginning of the eyebrows, I want you to close your eyes again. And as you hear the sea, yeah. You know, and the birds chirping and all of that good stuff. I want you to slow your breathing down. And I want you to imagine breathing into your heart. You might even put your hand on your heart. And as you put your hand on your heart, feel the warmth of your hand on your heart or the pressure there. Either works or both. And I want you to think of someone that you like or someone that you appreciate or someone that you love might be an old person, a young person, a child, your child, your parent, a friend, doesn't really matter, just someone that you care for. And as you're thinking about that person, and now I want you to think that that person has the worst social anxiety ever, like when you have it at your worst. And now, Notice how you feel towards that person that you like or that you love or that you appreciate. As that person is suffering with social anxiety, what's your reaction towards that person? Good, now open your eyes. Now likely, you wanna help that person. You feel compassion towards that person. You feel empathy. You don't want them to suffer. Am I right? Hopefully so. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> since that the case, 
Now think about how you treat yourself when you feel anxious. Is it the same? Hopefully it is, but very likely it isn't. Because what we tend to do is we beat ourselves up after we've gotten anxious. Isn't that weird? You know, it's not that you're getting anxious on purpose. Something happens, your brain perceives a threat, it activates that fight, flight, freeze response, puts your whole system in survival mode, so you can run away from that threat that your brain perceives, or you can fight it. You know, those are typically not very good options in social situations, so then the, the next option is you freeze, and you can't think of things to say, and you can't be social, and you have all of these problems. Man, you're suffering in that moment. So, why beat yourself up in those moments? not very productive it makes the anxiety worse it decreases your esteem it decreases your confidence it adds insult to injury it makes everything worse so what you want to do is in instead is treat yourself the way you would treat a person that you care for who is who is dealing with that anxiety so to step on the side of your eyes and say I'm not gonna do that on the eyes um, when I feel anxious I should beat myself up one of those it's such a successful strategy the chin it really makes me feel better on the collarbone it really makes me feel less anxious when I beat myself up on the arms it's such a confidence boost on the lift point or maybe that's not true wrist point and I'm willing to consider on top of that that I'm suffering in those moments and I could use my own support. Good deep breath. Relax. Now hopefully you're feeling a tiny bit better. My expectation is that you do. If that's the case, great. Share this video with someone who else is suffering like this. And as you're in this little bit feeling better place, set a goal for yourself. Close your eyes and set the goal of being at ease around others, being comfortable around others in 2020, somewhere in 2020, be a fantastic goal. Or if you're, you know, you're more spiritual and hippie-like, set an intention, you know, have that be your intention. I kind of joke about it, but intentions are very powerful. So set that intention for 2020. And then I wish you, uh, you know, a fantastic 2020, so that you may feel at ease, comfortable, anxiety-free, and then you can have jolly good times and uh, speak your mind and all of that good stuff. So that's my, my wish, my intention for you and everyone who sees this video, you know, whenever you see this. All right, this is Sebastian, socialanxietysolutions.com, and um, subscribe here and whatever. Have a great 2020. It's going to be awesome. All right, bye for now.